I'm a big fan of Transformers, but unlike other franchises, we've not exactly been spoiled for Transformers video games over the years. I keep shelling out money for these things, so I feel pretty qualified that these are five of the best Transformers games you're ever likely to play. Okay, getting the weird one out of the way early. Not the only Japan exclusive Transformers game. Surprise, surprise. Beast Wars on the Game Boy Color stands out for a few reasons. One, it's one of only two standalone Transformers fighting games ever, the other of which sucks. Two, it's one of only three games based on the Beast Wars continuity, the other two of which suck. And three, it's the only Transformers game from the last century that doesn't completely suck. No idea what any of this text means, but it's a pretty competent 2D fighter, and it has Leo convoy on it, and he is a sweet toy. Transformers Devastation is a typical Platinum Games brawler. Big, screen-filling boss fights, a super slick combo system, and frenetic action that doesn't let up until the end. The cell-shaded art faithfully renders Optimus and the gang straight off of the acetate of the old 80s cartoon. Objectively, nothing is 100% brilliant with Devastation, but thankfully, the short story is over before anything starts to truly grate on you. Reuniting the original voice cast was a masterstroke and adding Grimlock as a playable character is guaranteed to make me happy. The Transformers Prime TV show was awesome. The tie-in game wasn't awful. The short Autobot-only campaign captures the essence of the TV show by recreating the bot designs and bringing in the full voice cast. I love you, Jeffrey Combs. The game essentially acts as a feature-length lost episode of Transformers Prime, a must for fans of the show and probably the best Transformers game on any Nintendo platform. In terms of gameplay, the Cybertron games offer nothing new. Typical run and gun action, a 10 or so hour campaign, and some pretty bland scenery. But what Fall of Cybertron does well, it does fantastically well. Great character designs, a variety of characters and gameplay styles. Throw in some awesome set pieces and being able to play as Grimlock and you're on to a winner. Plus the multiplayer is really fun and you can still find lobbies for it. The Cybertron games are prequels to the Transformers Prime and Robots in Disguise TV shows. So, if you like those shows, then absolutely give this game a go. Transformers on the PS2 obviously qualifies as the best Transformers video game. Choose from one of three Autobots and fight Decepticons all across the Earth in glorious early 2000s graphics. Transformers 2004 ties into the Armada cartoon and toy line and introduces the Minicons, tiny robots that when power linked to larger Transformers unlock new abilities and weapon modes. For the time, the graphics are out of this world and the gameplay transitioning between robot and vehicle modes is near perfect. Difficulty balance is spot on, the story is pretty decent, and the Minicon gimmick adds tons of replay value. I started replaying this game for this video, and I'm going to push on for 100% completion. That was very hard. Honestly, it's difficult to come up with five Transformers games that are worth your time, because most of them are rubbish. If you think I've left anything out, then feel free to leave a comment below till all are one.